morning, hello, and welcome to my February week in sewing. Now, um, you might notice just for today and the next couple of days um, that I'll be talking a little bit quieter because um, unfortunately I've had quite a bad asthma flare up and I'm on uh, lots of antibiotics and steroids and things, but I'm really excited to share my week in sewing with you. It just might be slightly quieter than usual. Uh, so I've got some lovely stuff planned for this week. Um, I've got a few long-term projects to address, so I need to finally get about to stage two of buying fabric for my dad's shirt and having another go. So I'm going to choose the fabric this week. Um, I'm also going to refashion the remains of the first attempt into something for me, so that'll be really fun. Um, I'm going to have a go at making a cosy Ponte de Roma Lotta. I've been talking about it for ages. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to have a go at that. Um, and I've got some pattern test bits to talk to you about that are now finished, so that's exciting. Um, but today we're going to take it really slow and gentle. I've got the day off work just um, to keep going with my antibiotics because I've not, I've only had them a day or a day and a half. So um, I need to just let them do <laughs> their job a little bit more. But we're quite busy with uni and everything today. So I'm going to do a little bit of sewing. I'm going to do a little bit of a stash tidy as well. Um, and yeah, we will see what we get up to today. I'm going to try not to set myself too much to do today uh, to make sure I rest properly. But I'm really, really excited to share this week with you guys. I may also have another go at a Tilly and the Buttons Nora in a kind of cosy ribbed um, grey uh, stretch knit that I have. Um, because now I've kind of learnt lessons from my first one. I think, I think I might have a go at doing a full bust adjustment on it, so I will take you guys with me for that. But as I say, today's going to be a very, very gentle lead into the week, and we will just, whatever I do today, will be a plus uh, that's not sleeping. So, <laughs> but we will get there, and I'm very excited to share my week with you. Um, I should mention, uh, not fully me made, because I've not made my Hudson trackies yet, but I do have my lovely size me sewing Florence boxy tee on which is an absolute staple when I'm not feeling well because it's really comfy to wear a sports brander as well as like normal clothes <laughs> so um I better get going with my day I'm also going to be doing some blogging this morning so let's go do that It's Tuesday morning and it is half past five so I've managed to sleep an hour longer than usual my steroids which is great um, and I am feeling a little better. Now yesterday I got a blog post written but that was pretty much it. After I spoke to you guys yesterday morning I got really breathless so I went and had a hot bath to steam because steam really helps um, and then I had a load of uni work to do but I rested a lot yesterday, it was, it was all about rest, and I did some reading. Um, but yeah, I did a blog post for Fabric Godmother, as in not for them, sorry, about them, a Fabric Friday one for my blog. Um, and I'm really happy with that, so that will go out this Friday. Now, today, so I've got, what, an hour and a half, really, before, like, normal life commences. Um, I actually, it sounds really strange, because whenever you say you're getting steroid insomnia, people feel really sorry for you, but the thing is, I don't wake up groggy. <laughs> One of the really nice things is yes, I wake up insanely early sometimes, but it's like a switch has been flipped. It is, you, do, you are just awake. So I find that I'm incredibly productive. It's really nice. Um, and I've always been a bit of an early riser in terms of like my most productive time. So it's good. Anyway, this morning I'm going to get a cup of tea and then I'm going to get the pattern pieces out from my dad's shirt project. I'm going to really carefully fold away because I got really upset and I just put it in a bag and was like, go away. Um, so I'm going to get all the pattern pieces out, flatten them, fold them, make sure that they're all okay because I don't want to get them printed again. Um, and then I'm going to take the fabric out and I'm going to look at what I'm going to make. So my plan is um, to make myself a little pair of kind of shorty pyjamas uh, with a little shirt and shorts. So I'm going to start with the shirt because um, I actually think it doesn't necessarily have to be relegated to pyjamas the shirt but I'm going to be making a pattern by My Handmade Wardrobe which was free actually in Love Sewing in August, September, something like that um, and it's like a really cute little shirt with like basic basic shirt 
outfit with little like grown on sleeves and um, a collar and everything that looks really cute and I think it would look absolutely adorable. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is look at fabric this morning to get the rest of Dad's um, shirt because his birthday is in April and I want to give it to him then. Um, but I need to take my time and not get too stressed by it. Now in terms of sewing, I'm, I'm a, quite a quick sewist. But, I'm like not intentionally either, I just sew quite quickly. But, uh, last time I was doing it, I was doing too much, so I got really stressed. So I am going to make myself, similar to the challenge I did with System and Taka back in January, I'm going to make myself take this really slowly and just do like a stage a day so that I'm not getting stressed because it's really really important to me. I've never made a man's shirt before and they definitely have their foibles, cuff plackets anyone, uh, but I'm very very excited. mistake I made last time cutting these in the dark but we have enough just um, in terms of angle anyway to cut this and you may think there's a lot of spare space but obviously I am trying to make sure these are straight I will also not be cutting anything until I've got this on an ironing board and flatten these pieces out um, but I've got enough for that enough for the back I can get the collar out of the old yoke. My yoke is a significantly different size to the, the man's pattern yoke. So still to figure out, I can definitely get it out because I've got, if you can see, one of those is the back of the shirt and one of them is just a big fabric scrap left over. And one of them is sleeves. So the sleeves I'm hoping to use for shorts, to be cute pyjama shorts. But um, for now, I definitely need to get the yoke out of something. I'm gonna prioritize getting like a really cute shirt made for me. Um, just because then I'll, you know, I'll feel better but also this pattern does work with this sort of fabric and it's probably the least number of pattern pieces for the nicest garment um, and then I have some extra bits over here that again these were collars and plackets but they're the wrong size for the one of this garment so I think potentially use for frills that I could potentially get a waistband out of the collars from here for shorts so I've just popped them neatly to one side um, and we will keep going but the message is I can basically get a shirt out of all of this which is very very exciting indeed and I think I'm going to cut them on my rotary cutter just for the extra accuracy as well so there's no movement but yeah very exciting so let's get the current project bag sorted and let's get these pieces put away and then when it's a bit lighter we'll cut them out just thought I would check in um, my voice is sounding a bit better because I've changed the timing of my medication to see if I can get more benefit during the day and that does seem to be helping so I'm still taking it quite easy um, and after my lovely morning of sewing um, or sewing related tasks um, I got quite tired and I'm getting quite um, tired quite easily at the moment so I went back to bed and then I had a very long chat with well, as long as possible with the asthma nurse to talk through um, future care options and medication and all that kind of stuff which was really really helpful and that was with Asthma UK because obviously the GP are so busy at the moment they were fantastic for seeing me really quickly and prescribing me new meds but I didn't feel super confident with them so I thought well you know I'll take up that option I'll chat to them so anyway here we are um no more sewing for today however I did buy some fabric from Hey So Sister. Um, I was looking for fabrics for dad and honestly I got distracted. 
but also that fabric is for an endometriosis awareness project uh, well endometriosis awareness month project which I will be doing in March if you don't follow me on Instagram um it's a good time to mention I will be doing a whole month worth of activities for endometriosis UK um to raise money for endometriosis UK and to raise awareness of endometriosis which one in ten women in the UK suffer with it's an incurable and unknown cause gynecological condition gynecological condition uh, which I suffer from although not too badly now because I had fairly major surgery for it um, but it means a lot to me so apologies in March there'll be a lot of yellow things and a lot of me banging on about periods menstrual health and generally the importance of talking up to your GP if things aren't right and you want to investigate further because there are one in ten of us it's the same prevalence as diabetes and yet it takes seven and a half years on average to get diagnosed which is insane so look out for that there'll be a whole host of sewing challenges and uh, Instagram lives where I'll be talking to other sewists with the condition so I've tried to make it as sewing focused as possible and I've got a very exciting competition with some awesome prizes lined up from loads of sponsors so look out for that I'll explain a little bit more later in the week now, as you can hear, I'm getting a little bit breathless. So hopefully, with the time of my medications, I am going to sleep all night. This is my only goal, is to have more than four and a half hours sleep, as that has been me since Saturday. So <laughs> we will have a go and see how we do. And then tomorrow, I just wanted to sew something. I just want to sew. So I think I might whip up a lot of that's I think what I'm thinking for tomorrow because I fancy something for work on Thursday that is kind of comfy and cosy um, and that's going to give me room to breathe um, because my back and my chest are very very tight so the loss is kind of the perfect silhouette to keep me cosy but also be a bit looser so we're going to look at that Good morning everyone, uh, you joined me in bed this morning um, because I've managed to not only sleep but sleep in which is awesome. Uh, so I'm still off work today, I'm back tomorrow um, because my speech still isn't fantastic um, and I don't, like, my lungs are quite, um, quite angry so I don't really want to exacerbate them anymore. However, that being said, uh, today I do have enough energy to do some sewing so I'm going to make a lot of today start to finish. Um, Adam's got a lot of meetings so there's gonna be quite a few time lapses um, and then I'll speak when possible uh, we've also got a virtual viewing on a house today which is very exciting uh, somewhere less polluted which will hopefully help me a lot I, I know the vlog's not been super interesting yet but there will be lots to do as I get better but I did think it was important I've said this before my week in sewing is about showing you guys what I do in a week um, I try and like kind of earmark some projects for it, especially things where I've already done a sew along and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it is about my week in sewing and this week is going to be a lot of self-care sewing, a lot of slow sewing. So I'm going to finish my cup of tea and take my meds um, so that I can, you know, function. <laughs> and then we will get on with the day. sewing I just thought I might show you my fabric so it's navy so very very difficult to show on camera in the dark and also during the day generally but I'll have another go in the morning but I don't know if you can see it's kind of like textured if I put it under the sewing machine light maybe see a bit more it's textured um and it's a lovely navy ponte de it's really good stretch in it a uh, four-way stretch and yeah I think it's gonna make a very cozy lot of, so this is half my skirt I'm just banging the skirt together and then I'll pop the facings on the top um, the sleeves go in flat, we sew up the side seams, and then this into this elastic channel, bam, done. 
Um, so, <coughs> so I'm hoping to get that done um, tonight, really, because it's nothing difficult. Hemming, it's annoying, but this doesn't fray, so I might not hem it um, for a bit anyway. The one thing I do need to look into right now is the fact that my machine is skipping so many stitches when I do my zigzag. And I don't know why. So I'm using an 80 weight ballpoint needle, which for this, this is pretty lightweight. Should be okay. I think I'm going to try a heavier ballpoint first. But yeah, we'll, we'll look into it because I'm not quite sure why it's being quite so annoying. Uh, and like I tried slowing down in case that was the problem, but it's it's not. It's It's just... I'm getting like three zigzags and then a line and then three zigzags and a line so that's quite frustrating it's clearly not catching the bobbin thread so job number one is I need to refill my bobbin anyway so I'm going to do that now and then I will have a crack at changing the needle and see what difference that makes because I don't want messy side seams I don't want them to pull apart it's just annoying um, and then when I eventually my overlocker eventually arrives in March um, then I will go over this garment and I'll just overlock the seams closed um but yeah there's so many projects I plan to be doing on my overlocker at the moment that obviously I don't have so it's I've had to kind of scramble a little bit um however a very very exciting project was decided today uh which I can't wait to tell you guys about uh upcoming it's a partnership with a very well-known other sewing vlogger who all of you will know um but I'm so excited um and also um I mentioned this on my Instagram earlier today but with all the being ill, I forgot that on Monday it was my six month anniversary of being on YouTube. Now I know that's that's not many and I promise after my first year I will just do it annually. But I was I was quite excited. Um, when I first started it, I, I really didn't know what to expect at all. Um, I didn't in any way think that nearly a thousand of you would want to listen to me prattling on about sewing. So thank you very much. Um, and I love it. It's so fun. I love sharing my makes. I love sharing what I'm able to do and like techniques and new projects it's just really fun and I love connecting with all of you guys so thank you um but yeah so it's, it's very exciting so I'm going to get on change my needle I'll report back on stitch progress just in case anyone else is using this um I should also say this fabric was gifted to me back in September by Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn with no um with no obligation to post or talk about it or anything which is really nice and I've only just got around to using it now because it's so cozy I was like I definitely can do something with it um but it's really really nice so I'm really looking forward to using this and wearing it tomorrow really because I think a long sleeve cozy ponte de Roma dress is going to be perfect for me at the moment um I'm starting to feel a little bit better but I think you guys can probably hear in my voice it's um it comes and goes and it's yeah so Let's get on. Just breaking up for tea now. Um, I have a neck band on my locker, which was a joy to sew. Um, I fixed my <laughs> I fixed my uh, stitch issue, which was basically, so I used a 90 weight ballpoint, which has worked. I've upped the tension on the machine to six from the standard five, um, and I'm using a two, well, two and a half width, two length zigzag, which has resulted in these lovely little neat stitches, which I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm very happy with that. So the shoulders are together and the neck band is on. It'll be a bit of work to get it to sit flat, but that's okay. We can cope with that. And then the skirt is sewn up at the sides. So I will just, after tea, I will pop the sleeves in as a flat head. And then um, that will be, I might just put waist and bodice together first thing tomorrow before work as a little nice, because I like pre-work sewing. Um, however, today my latest edition of Love Sewing arrived. So I'm after tea, here we are, going to have a hot bath and read some of this because the steam really helps so looking forward to it but it's actually been really really nice to start sewing something just for me again so let's go have tea do some sleeves and then relax
Good morning, I'm going back to work today, which is very exciting. Um, I got a load done on my latte last night, including French seaming in the sleeves, which I'm really happy with, because again, I still don't have an overlocker, so um, I just thought it was easier. But I didn't manage to finish it last night, and I managed to sleep through the night though, which is really exciting, and I do think I'm looking a little bit brighter today. Um, so I've got a nice big cosy jumper on, I've got meetings from, solidly, from nine, half nine till about one which I'm going to try not to talk in very much so that I can um, protect my chest a bit but going back to work and then I'm going to finish my latte tonight and wear it tomorrow um, but yeah I'm really happy with a bit of self care sewing and progress and then this weekend we will do some more creative stuff um, Adam is going to go look at houses potentially I am as well but depends how I feel on Saturday because I'm hopefully moving um, but it's otherwise going to be a very creative sewing weekend so I'm looking forward to that fly in my face um, and yeah it's gonna be really good but now I better get to work hello everyone so late evening check-in um I went back to work today and I was in meetings from half past nine until about three I managed to get out at lunchtime though which was good um however I did overdo it a little bit I'll be honest um so um I am a little bit breathless now a little bit tired so I had to lie down after work I've just had delicious chicken casserole, courtesy of my lovely partner. And now I'm going to have another bath. Yes, I've had one every day this week because the steam helps my lungs so much. I just, I have so much steam that Adam can't really see when he looks in the bathroom whenever I'm on my bath. It's heaven. Um, I'm really, it is helping. I do feel different. I feel a lot more bright, a lot, a lot more alert um, and less confused than I did earlier in the week, which is really good. So anyway. Tonight I'm going to relax. Very, very busy. I think the problem is this week, because I've been sleeping quite strangely, I haven't been doing as much during the day as I would normally, so I hope it's not been boring. Now, I'm gonna go have a bath, and then we will see how we get on, but I will be reading Love Sewing in the bath to give me lots of sewing ideas. Good morning, everyone, hello. Um, I'm being really quiet because I've got up early again, but I'm feeling a lot better this morning, which is great. So um, I'm going to pop my headphones in now, it's half past six on Friday morning, I'm going to finish my lotter so I can wear it to work today. Um, I'm really feeling it, I woke up very early but I'm like feeling very well rested which is great. So I'm going to do some sewing this morning and then um, I'm going to look into some fabric because I've decided I'd quite like to make myself a pair of dungarees. I don't know why, it's just suddenly I've decided I want to do this. So um, I'll take you guys with me a little later on for some fabric choosing, both for my dad's shirt for um, some dungarees and I'll be having a look through pattern recommendations as well so we'll do that a little bit later on but first of all I just want to get sewing really. done I've not put the pockets on yet because I'm just gonna see how it fits first and then honestly um, I'm gonna measure where I personally want the pockets and then add them uh, but yeah I'm really happy and I am I'm feeling so good because I feel so much better this morning now I need to learn lessons from yesterday which is to take it easy today because I felt quite good yesterday morning and then obviously did like six hours of meetings which didn't help so I'm gonna go take the rest of my meds and I'm going to look at some fabric online, uh, which is very exciting. But yeah, I feel really, really good. Um, or much, much better, I should say. Um, and I have a lovely lotter to wear to work. So I'm gonna pop that on now, go upstairs and get dressed for my day. 
um, and take a couple of pictures. And then my pattern test, well I should say not my, the Size Me Sewing final VN pattern test, because there's three patterns in the series, goes live today. And I'll give you a sneak peek of mine. So excuse the washing. Here she is, she is a beautiful coat, I love her. She has a me made label in her, which I'm so proud of. But genuinely, like, one of my favourite garments I've ever made in my life. And also, side note, look at this sleeve. Oh, best sleeve I think I've ever inserted. Uh, so I will put up a proper picture of this coat now. But I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to wear it on my walk today as well. <laughs> um, but this goes live today. Uh, so I'm so excited and then I will tell you guys a little bit more about my dungaree plans uh, but I'm gonna get dressed and so yeah feeling great have a lot of net win I've made something this week for myself uh, this is the last thing I made um, and I was feeling a bit like I hadn't made anything for myself so whipping up a quick lotter it's been on my list for a while feeling really good so let's go get ready for the day uh, hopefully when you next hear from me I'll be able to talk better because I need to go take my meds um, <laughs> and then we will be on our way with Friday whoop whoop neatest thing I've ever made but it's immensely comfortable. I've made the waist deliberately a little bit looser because um, normally I like a really cinched in waist. I may still change it but I made it deliberately a little looser to, for it to be quite a comfortable but smart thing to wear. Um, I am going to pop pockets on it I think but I'm just really enjoying. It's like a little bit longer than anything I'd usually wear um, but actually I really like it so it's just below the knee for me and it's quite, um, it makes me look quite tall which I quite like. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take some photos of this now, I'm really happy with it, and then I'm going to look at some fabric before work. First, breakfast, because um, I'm really bad for this at the moment, but when I'm on medication I have to make sure I have breakfast at the right time. So, quick breakfast break, photos, and then let's look at some fabric online, and hopefully, I'm a bit concerned because we're going to March, most people aren't obviously stocking winter fabrics, but I need some brushed cotton, so we'll see what we can find basically uh, for my dad's shirt, because Although we're going into summer, my parents live in Orkney, so even in the summer it's like 15 degrees max, so he'll be fine in a brush cotton shirt, I think. Um, so I'm going to look at those fabrics today. So, let's take some photos. Hi everyone! So, um, yesterday... My day basically just went straight from work into speaking to Adam's family, so I didn't really do anything sewing related last night. This morning, um, I'm wearing, I was wearing my Eden coat as well, got a nice lotter on again. Uh, woven one which is Viscose Marica from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn, which I love. Um, but I've not done any sewing this morning because we had to take a quick trip to Buckinghamshire to go view a house, uh, which we have now put an offer on, so, well, like for rental still. But, fingers crossed, we will hear back about that today and we will have a new place to live, yay! Um, so I'm now going to change and eat something and then get down to some Saturday sewing. I've also had a beautiful package arrive from Hey Sew Sister, which I will talk through in a little bit once I've got changed. But yes, super excited and looking forward to a nice weekend of sewing. So we put down our holding deposit um, and today became a paperwork afternoon. However, um, I have since sorted all my fabric, as you guys saw, into kind of bags and then scrap pile over there that's like two smaller scraps to use for anything. So we'll have to go to recycling, uh, but at least it's sorted. Um, and I've just realised it's my friend's birthday coming up in two weeks. I said I'd make her something for Christmas and I didn't have time. So I got her something instead. Um, but I've got fabric to make her a top, so I'm going to whip that up I think this afternoon, it's a nice quick win, and then um, we can move on, I'm also going to cut out the fabric pieces 
for that shirt I'm making out of the remnants of my dad's stuff. I'm really struggling to find brushed cotton, so I'm gonna keep looking. But in the meantime, I'm also gonna go through my patterns, um, to earmark a couple of patterns and put them in the upcoming bag so that they'll be ready with fabric for me to just go. But it's very, very exciting. We'll be moving at the end of March, so I've got a month to sort my life out sewing-wise um, to make sure that when we move, I have a sensible amount of sewing stuff, <laughs> which will be lovely. But yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I am, we're honestly both over the moon. So now I'm gonna settle down, do some sewing, whip up a quick top, and yeah, just, just have some fun, really. It is Sunday, here we are, and I have got up to do some early morning sewing and have made a colossal hilarious mistake on this top I'm sewing for my friend. So I'm making her a just a shell top from the Great British Sewing Bee book. Um, I've linked the vlog, like the proper sew along vlog for it below. Now it's a, it's a simple shell top, it's really flattering and um, she's like very slim and tall and she'll look beautiful enough. Um, and I'm using this stunning rust coloured crepe. It was all going very well. Facings attached nice and neatly. And then, you'll see the issue when I turn it around. I've turned the back the wrong way around. <laughs> so I have a beautiful pressed back seam that is uh, currently completely inaccessible. And obviously the darts are at the front and everything. So that's a little bit frustrating, um, but I'm glad I caught it now. Um, just honestly by accident when I turned and went, oh dear, no. <laughs> so I'm going to unpick that quickly and uh, do it again. But then I'm going to, I don't have matching thread for this at the moment. So my aim is to get it all sewn together on all, because this, um, the facing gets bagged out, trim it down, bag it out, and then buy some matching thread to do the top stitching. Because I've got a couple of other things this colour, so it's worth having the thread. But uh, yeah, so at least I can get it together as a garment and then do all the kind of finishing, top stitching, attaching hook and eyes, all that kind of stuff to it at the end. But I'm gutted because look how neat that centre back seam is. <laughs> so I'll have to unpick that and do it again. But I'm quite happy with my darts and my facings are nice and neat. Um, this is the third time I've made this pattern so it's quite interesting to see my sewing evolve as I make it. Like my first one I adore but it's messier than anything. Um, so it's, it's really nice. Um, so, other than that, today's the last day of the vlog. Now, I have to say, I'm really sorry I haven't done that much sewing this week. Um, I've tried to fit in bits where I can. Um, the brushed cotton hunt is still very much on for my dad's shirt, which is a nightmare. Um, but we will get there. Also, um, 2 o'clock today, so this video will go out tonight, so hello if you're watching. Um, on the same day I release it. But, my, I will be going live at 2 o'clock to talk about all things um, endometriosis related. Um, and yeah, it's really, really exciting. I think, I'm a little bit frustrated about this, so I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my tea, take my meds, um, and read my book for a minute. Come back to this with a fresh head. <laughs> So, 
so um i was about to go and just like un unpick it and be like ah like leave it go and read and then i remembered that i know how to french seam now so what i did was i stitched another line of stitching three eighths from the edge like on my back seam that was the wrong way around um unpicked the first seam because then obviously i'm sewing over it but it's not messy because it's not crepe um crepe obviously fra um frays really badly so i did the three eighths seam and then I French seamed it, and now it looks lovely. So there we are. So very chuffed with that. That's a nice center center back French seam, which I will press out as well. Um, and yeah, then we are very much, to be honest, very nearly there. It's hilarious to me that the first time I sewed this, it took me a full day, like an like an actual full day to sew it. Um, whereas now, uh, I cut it out in half an hour last night. And I've not even looked. At, I've not even looked at the instructions actually, because it just it's it's a very simple. So I really really recommend this top actually if you're looking to expand your sewing to like kind of more simplistic minimalist gar garments that look really like that you can make look really high end. Um, and also like I have two of these, um, and my yellow one I wear constantly in the summer. Like this is an inside out obviously, but it's such a nice silhouette, um, and it looks really good with like blazers and stuff for work, but also cute with like jeans and heels. So it's a big favourite pattern of mine actually, um, and interesting that it's, it's come out of the sewing bead book because that's not normally my vibe, but <laughs> I really like it. So hopefully she likes it too, as you can see it's coming together. Um, so for now I'm going to have that break I talked about earlier. <laughs> Took a little break from sewing this morning to get all of the admin done for the start of Endometriosis Awareness Month, but I want to get it all sorted. And I'm about to go live on my Instagram to tell everybody um, what we're actually gonna be doing. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I, I'm literally talking to camera right now. Um, but I guess, I don't know, being live, it's, it's a, I, I guess the concern with live streams is always, please I hope somebody turns up to hear me talk about this um so fingers crossed some people are interested in hearing what's going on I explained it to you guys this morning but I am um, uh, you can head over to my Instagram to find out more I'll be creating a highlight as well so you guys can see um stories and what's going on and kind of the general activities but we've got some fantastic stuff planned um I'm wearing a me made dress for the live I've got done of cardigs some cold uh, my lovely wrap dress from Great British Sewing Bee book um and i have linked the video below for this dress um and then yeah we will be if i'm honest ugh, i keep trying to do this project from my dad's thing but it's just not happening i need to do it um but i'm really glad i got so much of that admin out of the way um because it's so exciting there are uh, the rag shop felicity fabrics the sewist fabric shop sewing at number 51 and Fabric Magpie and Hey So Sister are all donating prizes as well for my So Yellow for Endo competition that I'll be running in March. So go and check that out, it's so exciting. Um, so I'm gonna go quickly do my teeth and generally make myself look like a real human <laughs> to go live and, and then we will finish up for this week. Um, today I am, for anyone who hasn't seen me or watched YouTube videos before, I'm Jess, hello. Uh, this is my account and today I am in, I'm so excited to share a project I have been working on for, oh si yeah, since January actually, so a couple of months I've been working on this um, and I really really hope you all love it. So next month, in a week's time, is Endometriosis Awareness Month. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what endometriosis is, it is the second most common gynecological condition in the UK and affects one in 10 women, which is the same prevalence as diabetes. And yet it takes on average seven and a half years to be diagnosed with 33% of women, I think it is, being told their symptoms are psychosomatic and then obviously subsequently being diagnosed. This makes me quite angry. Um, and also as an endometriosis sufferer, I just don't think it's right. So mine was diagnosed when I was in my twenties. Um, I had surgery for it and I'm pretty well managed now. And I, after talking to quite a few people in the sewing community, went, I think we all need to talk about this more. So I will be doing lots for Endometriosis Awareness Month. Now, two key things I want to tell you guys about. Firstly, um, along with lots of kind of blog posts and you know all sorts of other content, I will be running a competition in March, which will 
involve you guys doing a little bit of making. So the competition is called hashtag so yellow for endo um, and I'm inviting you to make or partially make a yellow or partially yellow outfit and share it with me on social media on Saturday the 20th of March is the kind of day but any time that weekend. Um, and I'm inviting you to donate one pound if you want to enter to Endometriosis UK and to do that there'll be a Just Giving page in my link in my bio for the whole month and to share with us a fact you've learned about endometriosis in March. So it's gonna be a great competition. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys loads of yellow outfit inspo, loads of fabric inspo, and we've got some wonderful, wonderful brands on board. So for prizes, which the exact prizes will be released closer to the time, but partnering with me for this competition, I have got Felicity Fabrics, Hey So Sister, um, The Sewist Fabric Shop, The Rag Shop, Sewing at Number 51, and Fabric Magpie, all of whom are going to be giving away some prizes to every, well, to those we will pick randomly, but some of those who enter. It's gonna be a really great competition and I really hope you guys can enter. Um, proper entry conditions and everything will be shared on my Instagram. The second piece of timetabled content, as it were, is going to be a series of Instagram lives that I will be doing with some fellow sewists and endometriosis sufferers. Um, and what we will be doing is discussing endometriosis, menstrual health, um, treatments, diagnosis times, general experiences, and also the lovely Holly from The Mindful Scientist will be joining me to talk all things science related um, to just kind of give us a little window into what endometriosis actually is. Because although one in 10 of us have it, around nine in 10 then don't know what it is. So I think it's really important we also discuss what it is. Uh, so those Instagram lives will be hosted here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. except one which will be at 7 and again I will share this in an actual grid post calendar thing um, so you guys can join us but I've got the lovely Martha made things and so much to say joining me to talk about their uh, endometriosis experiences um, and it's going to be really really great and I hope you guys can come along to those and support them in sharing their experience. Also my final thing I want to encourage everyone to do throughout the month of March, but also in life generally, is talk about menstrual health, please. It's so important. Um, the fact it takes seven and a half years to diagnose this condition is insane. And part of that is because a lot of people really don't feel comfortable um, talking about their menstrual health and knowing when something is wrong and going to a doctor. So if there is one thing you do or that we encourage you to do in March, it is talk to somebody about periods, whether they want to or not, just start talking to people about periods, it's really important. Um, no, but seriously, if you have female relatives or you have friends and you just wanna have a bit of a chat, March is the time to do it. Equally, if you are concerned about anything with your periods or anything like that, it's a really good time to mention it to your GP or go on the Endometriosis UK website and you know do a little bit of research, see, if you're, you know, matching symptoms and things, there's no harm in going to speak to someone. So that is very much the point. I want to raise awareness. I want us all to have open and honest and lovely conversations about menstrual health. And hopefully we can raise a little bit of money and have a great time sewing while we do it. So hopefully that sounds really cool. Give me a little wave if that sounds cool. Hopefully, yay, I'm excited. It's gonna be super, super fun. Um, I'm just checking where we post it because my brain is all over the place today. Um, but hopefully you guys will all be able to join. There will be a big post to share and I will create a highlight on my story that has this and everything else. So if you've got any questions or want to be involved or um, yeah, anything really, come say hello and drop into my DMs and I'm always happy to have a chat. But thank you guys so much. I'm gonna stop rambling now, but the one thing I will say is the first Instagram Live is just me on my own um, doing a bit of, well, I'm gonna share my story, first of all, it's a nice way to kick off. Um, and I'll also do a bit of a Q and A. So I'm gonna post a Q and A box today and I'll post one closer to the time as well. So if you have any questions, please put them in there. There is no such thing as a stupid question at all. Um, I am all about, you know, open honesty and obviously I won't share anyone questions before. If you have more sciencey questions, also drop them in, bearing in mind that we don't know what causes it and there is no cure. So we will do our scientific best, <laughs> but obviously if you've got any kind of basic more questions about what it is, then let us know and me and Holly will answer those 
um, well, to the best of our ability in March um, 17th, I believe Holly is. But we're gonna have a great time and I'm really looking forward to you guys joining me. So hopefully we can all start buying some yellow fabric and getting sewing. Um, also, there will be a load of fabric shops giving discounts on yellow fabric and I will publish who they are next week or yeah, end of next week, which is the deadline for them to tell me. So I'm gonna stop rambling now, but thank you guys so, so much. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I am now also moving house at the end of March. So this is gonna be an absolutely insane month, but I can't wait, so let's do it. And I will see you guys next time. So here we are, it's the end of the week. Um, I just shared, sorry about the aspect difference, uh, but I just shared the uh, my live that I just did with you. Um, oh my God, I was so nervous, but thank you to everybody who joined. It was really fun, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm so excited for March's range of activities. Now, I am gonna bring my week in sewing to a close here. Um, for me, it's actually been, comparatively to other weeks in sewing, it's been quite unproductive. Um, but I have been pretty ill, actually, now I think about it. And sometimes it's hard, um, I would like to highlight this actually, sometimes it's really hard when you live with a condition like asthma, or I know some diabetics get this as well, where it's kind of a long-term chronic condition, you're really used to being on medication for it. And you kind of just accept that there are days when you can't really breathe properly. <laughs> and things like that. And actually, it's it's really hard on your body sometimes. So this week, I've not done as much sewing. I've not done as much of anything really, because I, I mean, earlier in the week, I couldn't talk properly. So, you know, I'm really proud that I've made a lot of this week. I've pretty much finished a top for my friend. Um, I've done some make planning. I really enjoyed sorting out my fabric stash yesterday. That was really therapeutic. And I'm really excited for the month that's coming up. I've got so much to share with you in March, some great projects, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Even, you know, to see that sometimes, you know, not everyone has a productive week every week. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I have tried my absolute best to link everything I've talked about in this video. But if I have missed anything, let me know and I will add it to the description. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Now, I am going to edit for a million years, I think, <laughs> go for a walk and then get on with some uni work. Because realistically, do I ever stop doing things? No, no, I don't. <laughs> so it's going to be a very, very busy month, but I will look forward to catching up with you guys next week. And thank you, as always, for watching. See you next time.